guys, thank you all for stopping by this new video uploading here on the channel of Games Home Life. And today I'm going to be showing you a outfit tutorial using both the creator outfit transfer glitch and the um, two console methods. So I have received some questions about this is if I could make like some cool outfits with it. Of course I did this white jogger outfit. If you would like to know on how to create that one, um, it will be it is up on my channel. So yeah, you can create that one too. But today I'm going to be showing you how to get this green camo modded outfit. Now it has like green um, hoodie, sleeveless hoodie and joggers and a white shirt, um, race gloves, race shoes and some other items on it. So this is like my first or like second outfit that I've created using this glitch. And I don't know if this outfit has been made before. I just figured it out myself using both Max, his website, and Silent, her website. So the links to those will be in the description box down below and also to their Twitter account. So make sure that you check them out. Now I'm going to show you step by step um, basically how to do this. And um, that's why this video is taking a little bit long. We have to do multiple steps in order to create this outfit. So if you still want to know how to create it, then let's get going. So we're going to start off by doing the outfit transfer glitch. So for that, as you know, um, all your current outfits on the mail first one will be deleted. So you want to apply the outfit that you want to keep. So you can save it after doing this create your outfit transfer glitch. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be going and to create a brand new second female character. And we need that character to create the components on. Now, before I continue, I do want to say I'm sorry for my voice. Um, it hurts a little bit and I was out with friends in the sun and my skin burned really bad. So I'm a little bit in pain, but I'm still just going to bring out this video. So I'm sorry for that, but let's just continue. All right, so we're loaded in with the female character. What we're going to do right now is we're going to be creating a outfit that we're going to be saving on slot number 20 that we need later on in this glitch. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing right here. I was just deciding if I wanted a white or black shirt, but I went with a black shirt instead. So it is essential that you save this outfit on slot number 20 because at the very last step of this glitch we're going to be merging the full two console fit with this um, create your outfit one so yeah so the first item that you're going to be putting on will be these tops so you want to go into the bus chairs and you're going to put on this teal lace bus chair and on top of that we're applying the merch jacket which is the blue cropped biker now then for pants, we're putting on the spotted muscle pants as always, and for shoes, we're applying these green cowboy boots, and for the very last item, which are the gloves, we're putting on the light woodland tactical gloves. Now once you have applied this, you're going to save it, I repeat, on slot number 20. Make sure that you do save it right there, or else um, it might mess up um, the glitch. So once you have it saved on slot number 20, then you're all good to go. You can now do the create your outfit transfer glitch. I'm not going to include that in this video or it's going to take even longer than it already is. So if you need any help with that, links in the description box down below. And um, I'm just going to transfer it over and then I'll see you guys back in a second. So I'm back here on the mail and my outfit is transferred over. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to start with the two console methods. So first of all, we need to get like a glitched top. So we're going to be changing this light woodland sleeveless hoodie, which you need to put on onto your meal. Um, and we're basically just going to be like swapping that um, into the green camo um, top. So this will be like our console number one outfit, I believe. And then we're going to be making another outfit to like flip the color. So... I will explain the two console methods one time and then I will just um, go through it very quickly because I think everyone knows how it works by now. So make sure that you save this light woodland tactical sleeveless hoodie. So this one right here, save it as your console number one outfits. Then you want to go over into the sweaters and you're going to put on this CMY key Manor sweater, which is number 44 of the sweater section. And you're going to save that as your console number two outfit. 
So now 42 console methods, um, of course you need two consoles, this is working on both Xbox and PlayStation 4. You're going to need to download the program called NetCut, so make sure that you have that installed on your Android phone, your laptop or your PC. Now once you have it set right there, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your NetCut and make sure that you find your own PlayStation or Xbox system inside of it. And you should see like the little Wi-Fi icon right there. Um, I'm going to show you a screenshot later on, but you want to make sure that you have your NetCut ready. And you also want to make sure that your second console is locked into, into your account and is loaded inside of story mode. Just basically suspend it. Now once you have it, um, what we're going to do is we're going to apply our console number one outfit. So with the light blue lens um, sleeveless hoodie. So you want to go ahead and apply the sweater outfit. I quickly messed up right here, but the sweater will be console number one and the hoodie is console number two. I'm very sorry I messed that up, but you're going to apply your sweater outfit. And once you've done that, you're going to put on this red scarf. Now, once you did that, you should get a yellow save icon. Of course, I didn't get one because I already saved my previous outfit. But anyways, as soon as you've seen your yellow save icon, you're going to open up your NetCut program, find your system and click on the little Wi-Fi icon. As soon as it turns red, we're going to switch over to console number two. Now, console number two is loaded inside of story mode. So if you're doing this with a friend, tell your friends to go over to a invite only session. And as soon as you're fully loaded in, you're going to open up the interaction menu, go to style and apply your console number two outfit, which is the light woodland tactical hoodie that we have saved earlier. Now, once you have that outfit applied, you do not want to apply anything after it. Just simply put it on and after your save icon, you're going back inside of story mode. So now you can simply log out of this and you can go back to console number one. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, go back into your net cut, click on the red Wi-Fi icon so it basically reconnects your PlayStation or Xbox system. And as soon as you've done that, you're quickly going to be taking off your scarf. Now you should see a yellow save icon and right after that you should get locked out and everything. So you're going to log back into your account, go back into the game and you want to accept the alert message. And once you're in story mode, you want to go back to a invite only session. And if everything went correctly, you should load in with this green modded camo hoodie. So here I have it on my character. So now we're going to continue and we're going to be creating the modded pants. So for that, you're going to put on these cargo pants that I've just applied. So those are the sand cargos. And you're going to put on any of these rubberized boots. It doesn't matter which one you put on. I just put on these Aqua Camo Trail ones to turn them into joggers. So now we're going to save this again and we're going to save it as our console number two outfit again. Now for the console number one outfit, we need to put on a Gorka suit and those will make sure that our pants flip into those modded green joggers. So you want to save these Gorka pants basically as your console number two and you want to save your hoodie your green hoodie with like the um, sand cargo pants as your console number one so what we're going to do right now is we're going to be repeating the exact same steps that i showed you before this so you're going to go back into your net cut um, basically just cut the wi-fi again lock in on console number two um Apply your C2 outfits and make sure that you work with the classic shoot back. So apply console number one, put on the classic shoot back, disconnect it and just go back to console number two. Apply um, console number two, classic shoot back and return back to the game. I'm not going to show that. So once you have done all of those steps, you should load in with these green modded joggers. So now you also want to save this and what we're going to do is we're now going to be merging the green camo joggers that we have together with the green hoodie. So we still have like the Gorka top applied on it. So we're going to change that into one of the hoodies. So we're now going to be doing a merge glitch using the um, two console glitch. So you first of all want to put on this gray baggy hoodie. Now, once you have that applied, you're going to save it as your console number two outfit, but make sure that you save it on slot number three. Now, once you have this saved as your console number two, you want to make sure that um, your green hoodie is still saved on slot number one. So now we're going to be changing this hoodie into a t-shirt. So you want to apply the Harsh Souls V-neck t-shirt and you're going to save that as your console number one. 
And now you want to, like I explained earlier, make sure that the green hoodie is still saved on slot number one. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge console number one and console number two together. So the hoodie and the t-shirt, then it should like um, get the male character to have like a glitch top. So then we can merge it with our green camo hoodie and then we have the combination together. So make sure that you're doing your true console method again, like I explained before. And this time to like save your outfit, you can just, you want to put on that red scarf again. So the red scarf is going to make sure that the tops like um, bolt or mold together to create that mullet merge top. So now after you've done the two console method again, and you should notice that on console number two, you cannot apply the red scarf on the hoodie, but that's okay. You can just simply leave it off. If you've done it correctly, you should load in with the black heist or with the black hoodie. I'm trying to explain it as best as possible. I'm sorry if you don't understand, you can leave any questions down below, guys. So once you load in with this hoodie, you've did it correctly. So we're gonna go into Crooked Cop, make sure that you have clothing to play your owns and you're gonna load up this mission. And on the screen right here, you're going into owned outfits and you wanna click once to the right to apply the green hoodie. Then you wanna go back once to the left to merge it together with the green pants. So now we should have this combination. So you're gonna hit ready to play and as soon as you're in the job, apply your breather or earpiece, then quit the mission. So now that we are back, we're basically going to be saving this again. And we need to do the two console glitch one more time to get ourselves the modded race gloves on it. And after that, we can merge it with our merch outfit and then we have everything done, I promise. So make sure that you save this look that we have just created as your console number one outfit. And again, you want to save it on slot number two. So then with your interaction menu, you're going to apply the gray digital tactical gloves. And then you're going to save that as your console number two outfit on slot number three. So you should have no gloves applied on console number one and the gray digital gloves applied on console number two saved in slot number three. So now you're going to put on the green biker suit, which has the gloves that we want on our outfit, and you're going to save that in the very first outfit slot. So now you're going to be doing the two console glitch again, and this time you just have to apply the classic parachute back. Now once we are back, if you did it correctly, you should load in without any gloves on your male character. So now we're going one last time inside of Crooked Cop to get the full outfit ready, and then I promise that we are done. So back in the Crooked Cop mission, and you are here, play your own to everything, clothing. Um, you will be back at the screen right here, owned outfit. You want to click once to the right to apply the biker suit, and then go back once to the left to the current outfit. And now it should merge onto what we already had. So now to finish it off, we're going once to the left to slot number 20, which has our merch outfit. And then boom, now we are fully done. So we're going to hit ready to play, lock, lock it in with a rebreather, and then our outfit is fully done. I don't know how long this video took because I am doing the voiceover later than my gameplay as always. But anyways, here is the full fit now that it's all done. I added a green bulletproof helmet. I added a white mask underneath a fit patch and a white duffel bag to finish it off. And this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this outfit tutorial. I know it was a little bit hard to understand. I did my best. Please leave a like if it did actually work for you. Um, it took me a lot of time to create this outfit, so I hope you like it. Subscribe and turn on post notifications and let me know what you want to see next. And then I hope to see you back in the next tutorial. Bye guys!